Christianity in America is on the decline. Church membership has recently hit a historic low, and young people are leaving the faith at an unprecedented rate. So what are the reasons for this downward trend, and what should the church do differently before it gets even worse? If you are a regular churchgoer, you've probably heard and maybe even noticed that less and less Americans are believing in God and attending church. Because from 2000 to 2020, the number of practicing Christians in America declined from 45% to 25%, with an even larger drop-off after the pandemic. And in about a 50-year time period, the number of non-religious young adults has increased by nearly 400%. Meaning that if these current trends continue, then we're going to witness a spiritual downfall like we've never seen in our lifetime. And often the reason given for this fall off is because the world is getting farther and farther away from God and that it should be expected. But while this is true, it's only a part of the answer, and some may use it as a cop-out to ignore some of the existing problems. So in this video, we're going to highlight three of the major reasons why Christianity is on the decline. And if you can think of a reason that I didn't mention, I'd love love to hear it in the comments. One of the biggest factors in people leaving the church is hypocrisy. When people grow up with parents who go to church but are completely different at home, it makes them think that religion is nothing but a show. And when you hear stories about pastors and church leaders getting caught in scandals, many wonder if anybody actually believes. While sincere Christians may get discouraged and frustrated when people say that the church is full of hypocrites, we also need to recognize that many churches have been sweeping things under the rug for far too long, and while not everybody is a hypocrite, we need to be reminded to practice what we preach. Another reason for the decline in Christianity is shallow faith. Many people grew up believing in God because their parents did, or because they were raised in church, but they never really made it personal to them. And many people stopped believing because they never really believed in the first place. And when you're not rooted and grounded in your beliefs, then when difficult times happen or hard questions come up, then your faith is shaken. This issue is accelerated by the fact that many pastors preach with a lot of fluff, but not a lot of depth resulting in a congregation that hasn't really been fed the word. Churches need to help people dig deeper into their faith, and if they don't, then they shouldn't be surprised when they eventually leave. But this third reason is perhaps the most frightening to me, and frankly, I couldn't believe it when I heard it. But before we get into that, it would help a lot if you could click the like button. Our goal is to teach the Bible to as many people as possible, and every like tells a YouTube algorithm to push this video to a bigger audience. So in a recent survey, 47% of Christian millennials agree that it is wrong to share one's personal beliefs with someone of a different faith in hopes that they will one day share the same faith. Note that these answers didn't come from just anyone, they came from Christians. Now I understand that it can be difficult and even scary to share your faith with someone else, especially if it's a family member or a friend, but it's appalling to hear that such a large number of so-called believers say that it's wrong to share your faith. So this means one of two things. Either that these people don't actually believe in the teachings of Jesus, or that they don't care about people going to hell. As Christians, we believe that Jesus is the only way to heaven, and that you can only have eternal life if you've put your faith in him to save you from your sins, meaning that those who never accept Jesus as their savior will go to hell once they die. And this isn't me being a bigot, this is what Jesus taught. Jesus said, he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Now some may say that you should just mind your own business and let people believe what they believe. And this is what non-believers often tell us to do. But if you truly believe the Bible and the teachings of Jesus, then you can't be content to just let people go to hell. If you knew that a bomb had been placed in somebody's home, you would make it your number one priority to warn that person. Even if it was awkward or uncomfortable, you're obligated to tell them, because if you knew the truth but didn't warn them, then you'd be to blame if the bomb went off before they left the house. And if you're a Christian, not sharing your faith with others is perhaps the most hateful thing you can do. Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So how can we claim to be Christ followers if we ignore this command, especially if we believe that 
evangelizing is wrong. So what do you think? Should Christians keep their religion to themselves? Am I being too harsh in my assessments? Or has progressive Christianity gotten worse than we've realized? Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more.